Hello guys, welcome back to an another tutorial on Bugzilla. In this tutorial, we are going to focus on functional part of Bugzilla. So let's start with. So Bugzilla is a very powerful tool for bug tracking or you can say for your issue management. So in an organization, there can be different products or you can say different applications where many stakeholders will be involved. So there may be like an application designing team, there will be a software development team, there can be a quality assurance team, there can be a support team, there will be a separate delivery management team. Those team will have to work together in order to provide a quality release to the customers. So same thing I have depicted here. So in an organization, there can be multiple applications where bug or you can say issues needs to be tracked using an automation software to ensure a smooth delivery and smooth functional functioning of all the team members and timely delivery. Then Bugzilla is like a very good software wherein it offers a lot of customizations to add or edit or configure a particular bug fields and to be able to enable or disable different modules. Then we have workflow. So there are different workflows for uh, bug statuses wherein you can enable, disable, you can add your own workflow. So workflows are like uh, the entire life cycle of the bugs from start to end. So it's like there can be a status as open, there can be status in progress, there can be a status as deliver, uh, in testing, there can be a status as closed, there can be a status as delivered. So it depends upon you how you want to control the workflow and what are the steps those are required to be uh, completed to uh, ensure that the workflow is ensuring what is closed or what is open. There you can also control the fields like which status is going to be closed wherein the system has to ask for a mandatory remark. So, for example, a developer has said that this issue has been fixed and is marking as closed, then the system will mandatorily go and ask, can you please enter a remarks what has been fixed. Then, powerful search. Powerful search is a very powerful feature of Bugzilla, wherein Bugzilla provides you a different uh, columns to be searched within different parameters. We will explore this setting when we really get into the uh, search feature. Reports. The reporting in Bugzilla is a uh, very open reports. It offers you uh, it's like plot your data into X axis and Y axis. What is you want to have the primary columns like uh, say assignee or a status or a customer name or maybe a sorting basis. The status is there are pie charts also available. There is uh, graphs available that you can use for your reporting. Then we have an automated reports also. In uh, Bugzilla language, these automated reports are called as whining. So what happens, you can schedule your searches, meaning you can search a particular bug or uh, statuses of the bug basis but how you want to uh, generate a report. You can save those searches and then you can schedule a particular time when these reports can be triggered over an email. You can also schedule like you uh, want to have a weekly basis or daily basis or fortnightly basis. All these are op uh, options that you can configure. The last option I have uh, mentioned here is the security. I have mentioned security because uh, this is a very specific release on which we are working. The release is 5.0.6, which is specially designed by Bugzilla, wherein they have added a lot of security features. Let's understand from this flow how a particular support model in an organization works or may work. So uh, customers will write an email to the support team or the support ID. Then this support executive is responsible to uh, coordinate within different teams to get it fixed, meaning get the bug fixed. There can be a support team which can analyze, you know, whether this particular uh, issue which has come from the customer, it's a bug or it's a change request. There can be also a clarification which can be provided to the customers. 
then once this is clarified you know if it is a bug or it is a change request is going to the developers for fixing that issue in case of obviously for a bug in case if it is a CR it will definitely follow the organization's change management and that is the way it is going to be uh, reaching to the developers when development department fixes that issue it is going back to the uh, QA department your quality assurance department or you can say your testing team they will be testing the application if everything is working fine they are going to send that release to the support team and then support team is responsible for uh, delivering that change to the customer so it depends if you have a different team for different processes that you can uh, involve after your requirement and you can incorporate those into the Vuxilla that we will explore when we be, when we will be discussing the user management section and other section where bug workflow reporting everything is configured.